All right, we're checking out the only game where you could take a thousand degree knife and add infinite zeros to it. It's Solar Smash. So we went ahead and with the help of Outwit, we have now hacked the newest update to Solar Smash, allowing us to do ridiculous stuff with such individuals as the Floridian Mosquito Swarm and sad, please don't copyright strike me Walt Disney World lightsaber. But Gray, what sort of things can you do? Well, let me show you. So normally the lightsaber can cut through earth, but we've actually found a way to hack the numbers so that we can invert it. And thus you get this. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lightsaber now that just turns the entire planet into Canada. Now, as we go into our solar hacks, we can do such things as increase the damage intensity. Actually, 10 might be a little bit too much. Let's just go to five. Five damage intensity. Oh, that just increases the amount that it freezes. Whoops, turned Earth into a snowball. I love how despite the temperature of Earth being like negative infinite, there's still 788 million people left alive. I'm pretty sure they're all in Italy. Well, let me just clean this up. There we go. 36 million people are left. Where are you at? Oh, there's 36 million people that live down here. We're a snowball floating through space and there's still 24 million people left. Actually, what happens with the inverted numbers when I do something like the mosquito swarm? Now, the best thing about this is that you can increase the mosquito swarm like an infinite amount. Oh, they just kind of tickle the earth really bad. I feel like this is eff effectively the amount of damage where someone's like, quit hitting yourself, quit hitting yourself. Obviously the issue here is we need more zeros. I don't know, amplitude, how about that? Lightsaber's like my baseline. Oh God! Well, that ain't good. Actually, hold on. Yeet. Man, that is a clean cut. Well, let me just finish it off. Beauty. The hacked lightsaber may single-handedly be the best coring implement that the game has ever had. It's going to allow me to make like really, really good shapes out of this earth. Now, obviously what we're going to do is increase the amplitude and the damage intensity until, well, I assume dollar store Luke Skywalker will ignite his lightsaber and all life in the entire universe will perish. What does ball damage do? I don't know, but I'm gonna put it up to a thousand. Actually, just the word ball damage sounds inappropriate. Here we go. Okay, it actually doesn't seem that bad. If I get like a perfect hole for the earth, should be right about there. Uh, whoops. Oh, <laughs> I like how I've made like derpy sloth earth, but it's still alive. How many holes can I put in here before this place explodes? Let's find out. Okay. Man, the lightsaber is legitimately like the best torture implement I've ever seen. I am turning Earth into a living honeycomb. Legit, Earth is still alive. Normally, if it takes this much damage, it just disintegrates. I guess no one really cares about the core though. Uh, I'd like to take the opportunity to mention that the Earth is definitely not sustaining life right now, but somehow there's still 1.2 billion people alive. I feel like if I asked them, they'd be like, great, we're not alive, we're just dying really slowly. So how long can I make this go on for that these people stay there? Oh, no! Now there's a bunch of other planets, as you can imagine, such as Block World, which is basically just Kylo Ren getting annoyed at Minecraft. Did I find any diamonds? I'm just cutting it completely in half to see how, how perfect the cut can be. Looks like half of a low poly hardballed egg. I don't know what the speed would do for a lightsaber, so I'm going to go ahead and increase it to a lot. I don't think it really does anything because it's light. How about damage intensity? Let's move that up to 100. Go! All it did was make the blade even sharper. Uh, hold on one second. I wanted to do this like perfectly lined up and timed because it would turn this Pac-Man into a glowing, volatile, like laser-eyed Pac-Man. It's like Pac-Man with a gland problem. All right, give me a second. I just need to make an appropriate planet for the rest of our testing. There we go. Now, if it's difficult for you to see exactly what this planet says, I've went ahead and I've put a population on here so that it's way clearer. Here we go. Five billion people on planet, please no. Grab this, amplitude damage. Yeah, we'll go with a nice clean hundred. I'm gonna slow this down because I have a feeling this is gonna happen real fast. Here we go. You know, it's not as bad as I thought it would be for a hundred. How about damage range a hundred? Slow, oh God, oh God, the game is breaking. 
Woo! Should have seen that one coming. I don't actually know if there's any part of the planet left. Let me go ahead and zoom out here so we can kind of get a better understanding. I may have just vaporized every single atom of the planet. Uh, yeah, it's completely gone. Like there's not even dust that's left. All right, well, maybe I should bring down the damage range to like a, maybe a 20. All right, how's 20 feel? Pretty bad. I'm just checking real quick to see if I can laser sword anything else. <laughs> like that. I feel like in order to protect the planet, I caused way more damage than this is worth. If you notice, look how beautiful the property is down on the O of no. So how ridiculous have the locusts got? Because we still have like the amplitude super high. So <laughs> one bite. It was like one bite. It's like a, a, a single mosquito down here in Florida. They're like one centimeter big that you get bit one time and it leaves with your leg. <laughs> Just real quick. Because I don't think that there's a limit. Oh God. <laughs> I, was gonna say, I don't think there's a limit to how many I'm allowed to have on the screen at once. Other than the fact that my ga my game itself will just hate me. I just want to know real fast if I can actually like laser these things or not. Just kind of get right about, cause there's one tiny piece of the planet, like one small Dorito of earth left. I'm just gonna give it some real quick LASIK. Did I get any of the, did I get any of the mosquitoes? I don't think I did. I don't know if they're just really good at driving around it or what. None of you are afraid of bugs, are you? So something that's weird is they redid what the space worm looks like, but I'm curious if I bring all of its attributes down to like zero, if it'll just like fly inside of the earth and reside there, like it won't actually do any damage. So here it is. This is the worm with zero power. It is just a useless space worm. Oh, I love the sound of it just going inside of the earth. It's like someone decided to take a bunch of Play-Doh, put it right next to a microphone and slowly squeeze it. There it is. So if I change the amplitude while it's inside, make that like a two damage range, we'll make that like a three. All right, does anything happen? How about if I make another worm? Yeah, it's weird. The, the worm that already existed didn't know what to do. It was like, yeah, I hadn't gotten that firmware yet. It's like, this is the first generation Roomba. This is the second generation. You may say to yourself, Gray, how are these anything like a Roomba? Look, a Roomba is made to clean up dirt and kind of so is this. The only difference is this thing cleans up dirt by removing the entire planet that it resides on. Well, this is happening, <laughs> look. I, we all know that we want to know what happens when we just add as many nines as possible to everything. So I'm going to do this and utilize the laser sword. Ah, well, I don't even think that the speed matters, but I'm gonna put it in there anyway. All right, laser sword. I, you know what? I'm gonna do this while it's paused. Here we go. I love how even with the pause, it didn't matter. It was just like, yeah, the earth's gone. Now these two worms are just floating around. They're like, oh, I'm so hungry. Oh, wait a second, I have an idea, hold on. All right, I have to I have to actually do this very specifically. So I need to put all this at zero. If this works right, this should actually look really cool. Think of this like a much stupider Picasso painting. All right, so I want as many of these as possible. Yeah, see that? See that right there? Hold on, you'll see, yeah, see that? Oh my God. <laughs> More. All right. Now, the space dragon, want well, all those. What's crazy is I actually have to do this while it's in slow motion. Hey, you're not supposed to be doing any damage. Don't you touch that planet. Look at the amount. Oh yeah, I'm trying to get them all inside at the same time. I think the biggest difference that I've noticed in the updates to these space worms is they got like some dental care because their teeth are looking way better. Seriously, like look right here. This is an excellent example of space worm teeth. All right, keep going, keep going. This looks totally normal, totally normal. Mmm, this is how space babies are born. All right, now the second the last tail gets inside, all right, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, now. Okay, so now, <laughs> all right, from here, here. I'm about to create the coolest planet, and go. Yes! 
Is that disturbing? <laughs> what do you think it would be like to live on a bunch of undulating space worms? The crazy part is they've almost completely spherically filled up the entire planet. Like, look at how perfect it is. All right, now while they're doing that, let me just see here. I can go over to the laser. I mean, it's already at like an infinite amount of damage, but yeah, there we go. All this is at a lot. Go ahead and blow up the sun. Okay, there we go. Here's the supernova. Now, what happens to like our 10,000 worms that are just chilling out over here? Maybe they were bred to exist in this. I don't know. Depends on how much sunscreen they're wearing, I guess. You can see they're all trying to run away. They're like, ah, you turn. Get off at the next exit. Don't you run from this. I sacrificed 7.7 .7 billion people so I could understand exactly what would happen when I did this. I don't know. Maybe they love the radiation. The only thing that's happening is they're changing color slightly. <laughs> they're just getting a tan. Right now, it looks like a giant globe of Medusa hair. Well, they can absolutely survive the supernova. Oh, never mind. Maybe they can't. <laughs> they all died like some kind of flash mob. It was like someone in charge was like, all right, guys, you ready? Cease to exist in three, two, one, now. <laughs> all I'm doing is turning all this stuff to the negatives just to see if it breaks the game or if it causes anything unique to happen. I think what would happen is just nothing would happen. Yeah, look. All I'm doing is feather dusting the earth. The clouds are trying to run away, but that's basically it. They're like, ah, I'm allergic to proper hygiene. Level 100 laser sword versus donut earth. I can't. <laughs> Man, I really underestimate how, oh, there's actually dust left. I really underestimate how powerful the laser sword is when you put everything at 100. 20. Jeez. Oh, all it looks like is Homer took a bite out of a donut. Come to think of it. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, it's, it's perfect. The laser sword allows me to do glorious surgery to the planet because I can decide exactly how much input and damage it does. The planet stays alive. I have legitimately just made planet pizza. I think this means I can do the inversion of what I always do. Flat earth. Okay, you ready? Here, look at how clean. P L Z. Yes. Oh, it's glorious! I love how the sun is just chilling out like right- <laughs> Whoops! Oh. I guess in flat earth land, the sun isn't really that important. I might as well get rid of the moon too. Yeah, get out of here! <laughs> I just hit the moon like a baseball! <laughs> hold on, hold on, just real quick, just real quick. <laughs> Batter up! Yeah! <laughs> Finally, I have managed to make a fully functioning planet Yi. Oh, hold on. Had to clean up that little part of the tea. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Solar Smash. Till the next time. Stay foxy. <laughs> and much love. <laughs>